So you've probably seen videos out there showing people pouring liquid on these or putting them in a liquid and watching the packing foam that you find in your packages just slowly get eaten away into a pile of goop. Well, we're going to replicate that here today and we're going to also talk about a little <laughs> about it a little bit. Now there's everyone's been doing it using acetone. I haven't seen anybody show what using thin cyanoacrylic glue does to this. Now thin CA as it's more formally named, it comes in little bottles like this. It's also known as medical glue. Also has a same effect to it, but it doesn't do it as much as acetone does. And to give you an idea, I've got another piece that's already been exposed to thin CA. And you see all the holes there, and that's where thin CA was put down and where it has kind of eaten through the styrofoam packaging. So we're going to do that here with this. I can see it just a little bit more. I don't want to lose focus because this camera has a habit of losing focus. And we pull the top off of our thin CA bottle. And now we're going to put some th thin, thin CA in this area here and then it'll take about a few seconds and then the, th the CA will start to bond or cure as some would say and that's where it actually starts gluing the parts together and during that process some heat is given off because of the chemical reaction when this gets exposed to the air. So we'll put some of this down and then you'll see it actually start to go down into a, uh, a hole or valley there. Let's see if it works. Let me pop this up. I have quite a bit there. And I can hear it fizzing, which means it's doing its bonding. I'm going to bring some of that CA back. You might be able to see the little bubbles forming now. In case the reaction is happening, and of course the CA is giving off fumes as well because of the reaction. As you can see the, the uh, styrofoam being eaten away. And of course some of our glue ran off there, so it's also <laughs> eaten away there as well. And it'll continue to do this until the CA has fully cured. So until the CA has fully cured, it will continue getting this deep valley forming until it stops. We'll just let it run for a couple for about another minute or two and it should come to a halt. Now here's our one quart of acetone. We're not going to use it all up, we're just going to pour a small increment on there. As long as there is acetone that is on the styrofoam or that the styrofoam is sitting in, it will continue to dissolve until all the styrofoam is gone. Or should I say, turned into the original goop that it started as. So, I'll pop open the acetone can. And let's let the magic begin. Now this will be a lot faster and a lot more reactive than the thin CA that we did just a little while ago. And in fact, its piece is still sitting over there, still going. So we'll go back to that and see where it stopped yet. So let's start our acetone. And as you can see, acetone works very quickly on this stuff. <laughs> And as long as the acetone's on there, it's going to keep on going on that stuff. And there's some at the bottom too, so it's going to start also going down as it eats the bottom away. Put a little bit on the bottom side there to help that part keep going. Should be about all we need right now. It'll Now that we get the camera off the tripod, because it's probably starting to escape the view of it now. In fact, it just fell over there. Here we 
got some lines in there now where it's dissolved away. So That it's best to look like. <laughs> Seems like we need a little more. Let me see if I can get this back open. should be all that it needs. goes. Now an easy way to do this experiment is just take a, a dish such as glass or something that's not sensitive to the acetone, pour some of that in there and if you have a styrofoam coffee cup just put the coffee cup in there and just wait 30 minutes and that coffee cup will be completely gone and it'll start looking like all this stuff when it's done. Yeah, it's like I say, this is about what the uh, styrofoam would initially look like before air is injected into it to take the form of whatever item the styrofoam has to go around used in the packaging. Starting to come toward an end here. But you see it's mushy. Mushy now. Let's see if we can pick it up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, still got quite a bit on there. The reaction is still going. about what your goop looks like. I to get it out of here without it falling apart. Because as long as the S turns on there, it's going to uh, just come off. Actually, if we wash the acetone out, it will probably stop that business. <laughs> instead that should take care of our problem. There you have it. <laughs> That's what your styrofoam packaging would look like after it's been put through some acetone. And now we're going to end this and we're going to stick this in the trash.